Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I repurposed an old frame painting into a rustic farmhouse wall decor. If you're here for the first time, I want to welcome you. Here in my channel, you're going to find lots of affordable home decor and DIYs. When you have a chance, please go and check out my other videos and if you like what you see, please subscribe and join my family. And also hit that bell icon so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. I want to start by showing you this old frame painting that I've had for many years. I purchased this actually in a garage sale and I did use it for a long time. I didn't want to get rid of it so I decided to repurpose it and make it a farmhouse rustic decor. I actually got this idea from Pinterest. So if you have an old painting laying around, maybe this will inspire you to change it up and repurpose it. I'll only be using the frame. I'll also be using this contact paper with a whitewash wood print and I purchased this on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it down below in case you're interested. And two foam boards, some acrylic paint in white and granite gray. Okay, so I'm going to start by turning the frame over and removing the brackets that are placed in the back that actually holds the painting. Next, I'm going to be joining the two foam boards together and I'm going to be using some clear tape for that. Okay, so now that I have the two foam boards together, I'm going to place now my painting over the foam boards and what I'm going to do now is just outline the frame onto my foam board because when I'm done with the foam board, it's gonna serve as the insert now for my picture frame. Next, I'm gonna cut the outline using my box cutter. And here I'm just gonna try out the foam just to make sure that it does fit inside the frame. And it did, it fit perfectly. Next, I'm gonna cover the foam board with a contact paper. Once I place the contact paper over the foam, I start to smooth it out until I'm completely done. And then I'll just fold the edges over to the back side. Next, I'm gonna start painting the frame and I'll be giving it one coat of the granite gray acrylic paint. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna set it aside and let it dry. Next, I'm going to be using the white paint and I'm going to be using the dry brush technique. Some of you have probably seen me do this a lot of times, but this technique is where you barely get any paint on your brush and then you lightly brush it on. And this is how it turned out. Okay, so now it's time to insert my foam board and I'm gonna turn my frame over and then just place it inside the frame. Next, I'll be using some more of that clear tape just to keep the foam board from falling out because I don't wanna permanently keep it into the frame. That's why I'm gonna be using some tape. And this is how the front side looks. Well, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day. And remember, love, laugh, and create. Until my next project, bye-bye and God bless.